All right, so today on the workbench, I have my Epiphone 1959 Les Paul Standard in Factory Burst from the Inspired by Gibson Custom collection. So these guitars are a little bit different than their standard line, and one of the main differences is the neck itself. This is a one-piece mahogany neck. Um, it doesn't have the scarf joint like the uh, other models have. And in addition, they've went to the open book headstock on these, which is a nice change. And the other big difference is going to be the electronics. Um, these have Gibson custom buckters in the neck and in the bridge. So let's get these strings off and uh, also give you a closer look at the fretwork. So while I'm taking these off, uh, the action as it came from the factory, uh, the setup was really nice on this. Uh, it was about 1.75 on the bass side and about 1.5 on the treble side. So I feel like they're paying a little bit more attention to detail on these, um, which you would expect with the, the higher price tag, um, that they would definitely pay more attention to detail. Um, at this price point, it's kind of a toss up between getting one of these or getting a used uh, Gibson USA model. I think at that price point though, you're probably only gonna be able to get a studio and you probably wouldn't be able to get a studio with custom buckers. Um, you'd probably end up right around $1,200 if that was what you were looking for. But if the, if the pickups aren't you know, anything important to you, then you'd probably get a uh, USA for probably less than what you pay for these new. It's all in what you want. I just like guitars and I like to check out what the, the guitar companies are doing and I like to play them. And actually I really like this guitar, the way it plays and the way it sounds. Um, and the other thing you get with this um, obviously is a case too. So that's $135 and that's probably $300 more for the pickups in here. If you were to sell a, a set of pickups out of the standard line, the Epiphones, you might get $100 for them. And I believe these cost $400 a set. So that's like a $500 uh, upgrade from the normal standards, Epiphone standards. And if you look at the price of those, they're coming about $700 at $500 that. And uh, you're right around $1,200. Uh, the other different thing on this is the finish. They call this vintage original sheen. It's like a satin finish. It feels real nice, nice and smooth. And if you like satin finishes, you'd probably like this. And a question I get a lot is, you know, why buy these? Is the quality better than buying a Gibson? Why buy a Gibson if the, the quality of these is, is better than the Gibson for the lower price? And I, do, I have a Gibson Les Paul as well. And in my opinion, the quality is higher on those instruments and you're paying for it. It's, it's like twice as much, um, but they do put the attention to detail in on those guitars. You know, I, I'm sure there's issues with quality control and everybody likes to highlight the worst cases, but the ones I've bought have been fine you know, set up, fit and finish, and I really like playing them. And in my opinion, yeah, the quality is better on those, but this is half as much. And I think, you know, I would say you're getting about 80%, 90% of the quality for half the price. Um, so it's really what you want. I, I enjoy both, so. All right, let me get you a close look at these frets. So the only thing really that I would say they probably could do a little bit better is just to round these fret edges off, you know, do a little bit of just a little bit more filing on those. They're not super sharp or anything, but it's like you can notice that there's a little bit of an edge there. They're not protruding, protruding past the, the uh, binding, but that's a one little detail I think they could have done. And it doesn't really take that long if you have a file, you know, and you're already working on the guitar and you're in the middle of 
setting it up, it's maybe, you know, 10 or 15 more minutes of work to, uh, to kind of make those feel a little bit better. And at that price, I think that may be something they should consider doing just to give it a little bit better feel for the player right out of the box. So let's get a closer look at those frets. And keep in mind, I have played this guitar, so there is some tarnishing from my, my sweaty fingers. Yeah, so I'm thinking I've had this guitar for maybe, I don't know, a few months now. So it's not it completely clean as it was from the factory. You'll notice there's fingerprints and such on it and maybe a little bit of tarnishing on the frets from, like I said, my fingers. Uh, so I'll go ahead and polish these up while I have it on the bench. All right, so while we have the strings off, we can go ahead and pull these pickups out and take a look at them. Verify that they're custom buckers. Probably if you're buying one of these on the used market, when they start showing up there, you want to ask them to verify that these pickups are in here since they're so much more expensive. That would be an easy way for people to make some money on these things just a thought all right and there we go you can see custom bucker on the neck pickup and custom bucker on the bridge might as well look at the not long neck tenon while we have the pickup out of the way there and one other thing i just noticed is the uh, screws are actually shorter for the neck than the the bridge. So when you put them back in, you definitely don't want to swap those and do them opposite because you probably run into depth issues putting these longer ones in the neck. So something to look out for. All right, let's take a look inside the control cavity. So 
There we have our Mallory capacitors and CTS pots. Not the neatest wiring, but it does the job and the components are the uh, higher grade components. So. All right, well, that's my Epiphone 1959 Les Paul Standard. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you think these things are worth it? Or do you think Epiphone's going crazy with their pricing and uh, you should just buy something else from Gibson at this price point? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.